Okay, so let's review. Let's go over how to prepare your Botox, the dilution tables, and how to, how to get your Botox ready, how to reconstitute your Botox. Okay, so I'm going to go over a couple points. Does anybody have the uh, syringe? Do you, could you hand me that syringe? Thanks. All right, so this is the manufacturer's recommendation on how to prepare your Botox. Okay, kind of important because this is what you're going to be doing in your practice, and you have to know this correctly. So what you're doing is you're buying your Botox. It does not come already mixed. Okay, you have your bottle of Botox, and now you have to mix it. So you go to your closet, you get out your saline. All right, and there's two types of salines that you're going to use, so I'm going to talk about that. But for now, you go to your closet, you get your saline, and you take out 2.5 cc's, 2.5 mLs of saline, and you put that in your bottle of Botox. Okay, we're going to show this a little bit later, the reconstitution. But for now, you're taking out 2.5 cc's or 2.5 mLs from your saline, and you're putting it in your bottle of Botox. When you do that, Okay, every 0.1 on this tuberculin syringe is how many units? Four. Right, exactly. So if you can just, if you could just pass this around. I know you know what a tuberculin syringe looks like, but just to remind you. So every 0.1 is four units. So how do you inject four units? It's 0.1. How do you inject two units? It's half of that 0.1. Okay, so that's kind of important. All right, so anybody know where to buy Botox from? Allergan. Try to own, really you should only get it from Allergan. Okay, there's so many, there's so many other companies that are going to approach you. There's foreign countries, there's companies from Canada, all over the place, you know, to save a little bit of money. We strongly recommend only buying your Botox from, from Allergan. Does anybody know how much it costs at this time? Close, close. It's $525. $525 for a bottle of Botox. How many units are in a bottle of Botox? A hundred, you said, right? Good, 100 units. So real quick, who could do the math quick? How much do we pay for one unit of Botox? $5. Five exactly, $5.25. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind when you're charging your patient the Botox. You know, you'll see so many different Groupons and things like that where it's, um, you know, five, six, seven dollars. You know, we're paying $5.25. So really, I can't ever see charging less than, than 10, or, 10 or $11 per unit. Companies or um, offices, uh, they get their Botox from Colombia. Canada. Yeah, that's true. And it's so much cheaper. It's true. That's they're also what they're doing is it's a very good point. What they're doing is is they're buying their Botox in different places, so they're getting a little bit cheaper, and then also they're diluting it too. How can you compete with that? Yeah, it's, it's not good. Terrible. Definitely not good. So. Um, what else do I want to say? Okay, so you, you got your bottle, you, you buy it from Allergan, it's, uh, it's $525 uh, per bottle, $5.25 per unit. Now when do you think you're going to get it? You're going to get it typically the next day. They're going to send it to you, it's packed in dry ice. First thing you do is you take it out, put it in a freezer. How long can you keep it in a freezer? Expiration. So look at the expiration, whatever the expiration says. When you're ready to reconstitute it, now it's going to go in the refrigerator. You take it out to reconstitute it. Okay, now how long? That's a trick question. How long can you keep it now? It depends on what type of saline, okay? If you use the non-preservative, that's right, if you use a non-preservative, then you have to use it within four hours, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna start to lose its efficacy. However, if you use a bacteriostatic, a preservative, then you've got four to six weeks, which is what most people do. Um, they'll, they'll you know, prepare it with the bacteriostatic saline. Okay, any questions on uh, how to reconstitute? A little bit later, we're gonna, I'll show you how to do it. You know, it's a little bit of a technique, but generally speaking, this, these are really the steps to reconstitute the Botox. Any questions? Okay, thanks, Lauren.